everyone. I hope you're ready for some high-flying antics and such. Mark Feist is here from the Greater Cincinnati Radio Control Club. He's going to preview this weekend's Flying Circus. Seems to get bigger and better every year, Mark. Yes, sir. It sure does. This is our 56th annual Flying Circus come up this year. 56? 56. 56. Yeah, we're out at the Butler County Airport, the Hamilton Airport. And it goes from 11.30 to 4, both Saturday and Sunday. And I know you always have big crowds coming out. Do you think... Has the interest in drones sort of increased what you guys do, sort of changed it up a little bit? Yeah, I think it's become, you know, much more, you know, uh, generally, generally available. Like, yeah. you, know, you see it on TV all the time. Sure. The public refers to them as drones. We refer, refer to them as quadcopters. So we brought our friends from Hobby Express here today with a wide selection of quadcopters and drones to show you guys here this morning. We'll also have them on display at our circus. We're going to do a race with uh, quadcopters where the guys wear the goggles and they're actually first person view so it's like they're oh. inside the inside the uh, drones while they're racing around a course i've seen video of that for it almost looks like a pod race from the uh, star wars episode one you know? right yeah and there's a local club that does that now we're going to feature it at the flying circus in fact maybe we'll stick a pair of goggles on you here in a minute oh i love it i love it okay what are we going to look at first we're going to start uh, down yeah. here with the bigger stuff yeah we also have uh we have a uh we have a jet here this is a hawker hunter it's a one eight scale jet it has 140 newton turbine engine in it Translation, it gets about 32 pounds of thrust in a real jet engine, flies close to 200 miles an hour. We'll have a number of those at the circus. We have a P-51 Mustang, World War II fighter. Uh, we also have a, in a box here, we got an example of a trainer that we're going to be giving away at the show. It's kind of an entry-level plane to teach people how to fly. Uh, so we brought a wide variety of stuff out here for you this morning. I just can't get over the size of some of the things. Usually when you think of, you know, an, an airplane and somebody's flying with a remote control, you think of something that's, you know, a little bit smaller. I mean, those things, those things are beasts. Yeah, this jet's eight feet long. We have planes that have 10 and 12 foot wingspans, multiple engines. They're a lot of fun. And uh, we'll, like I said, we'll have them all on display at the show. We're going to do reenactments. We'll do all kinds of racing. We'll do fun events. In fact, they think we're going to have Iron Man and War Machine flying around, and they're both. I remember the Iron, I remember yeah. the Iron Man before. <laughs> Why don't yeah, we yeah. come over here and talk to the okay. uh, gentleman folks here from Hobby Express about some All of right. the quadcopters? All right. So quadcopters, and here, oh my gosh, I've got the, the guy. I'm going to be very careful with this. Now, this is the the goggle headset yeah, you were so talking if you're about. Wear that, so you can put that in there. You can see what the quadcopter's seeing, and we'll uh, we'll uh, take one up here in a minute and let you look around in there. We'll, we'll do talk, what, We're going to talk to James here real quick. James, how you doing, James? Uh, we're going to put you in the pilot seat. We're going to put you in the pilot seat of one of these aircrafts, uh, virtually, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we're going to have all this demonstration this weekend at the uh, Great Ocean Sunday Radio Control Air Show. Uh, we're going to have all the things we have back on the table out uh, on display, purchase. Um, we're welcome to stop out. We're going to put you um, the little Nano QX, which is okay. on here on the ground, the little black guy. That's what we're going to put a you. A little tiny one. We're now, going to put you behind the seat. Adam, that one. I'm going to try to show Adam something here real yeah. quick. Can you, Adam, look inside this just really quick for me? Because you can see that's that's what I'm going to see. That's that's what we're seeing from the from the little quadcopter itself. Okay, Mark, tell you what I'm going to do. Can I hand you the microphone while Absolutely. I try to? Absolutely. Yeah. So he's up in the air now with the quadcopter, so you can look inside there. So imagine yourself sitting in the cockpit and flying that around. That's what we do when we fly these. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? It is. Adam, I'm going to show you what it's seeing again while it's up there. So that is the quadcopter's eye view. <laughs> it's in the trees! We're and down! <laughs> so well, That's so, why we use the little one. That's right. So there's uh, when, you, when you get one of these quadcopters, there's a website called knowbeforeyoufly.org, yeah. and it teaches you what you're allowed to do, where you're allowed to fly, where you're not allowed to fly, how high you're allowed to go how close you're allowed to be to airports or not. So always go to knowbeforeyoufly.org before you fly one of these quadcopters. Well, and that's more and more important because, as you said, more and more people are getting their hands on these things, and you right. don't go through some training, you can get yourself into some trouble and, and possibly get somebody hurt, really. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then, like I said, we're going to do all the aspects of the hobby. We're going to do the drones. We're going to do some cool stuff. Hey, Brian, you want to fire up a jet? You guys want to listen to a let's jet take, engine? Let's run? take it to, listen to a jet engine. And as he's firing that up, Mark, so I know we're running short on time, I'm going to have you walk over and tell me all the details if people want to come out as well. All right, so again, it's the Flying Circus. It's Saturday and Sunday this weekend, August 13th and 14th, 11.30 to 4 both days at the Butler County Regional Airport. You can go to our website, which is rcflyingcircus.com, so radiocontrolflyingcircus.com, and uh, come and check it out. It's a great family event. We charge $10 for parking, so if a family of four comes out, it's basically $2.50 a person. No admission, and we, all, we also tend to give a lot of money to charities. Last year we gave almost $9,000 to charities at, at the show. Fantastic. Let's hear this thing purr, and you guys go to break whenever you want off of this thing. Look at here. You can see there's a little bit of fire in there, right? There's like a little juice in there. Look in there.
Sounds like a good time this weekend. We'll get more information on our website, local12.com.